I lost. So don't play games with me. I don't want your pity, nor do I need it. Are you crazy? If they don't want it, then let's take it. Treasure is treasure. Yeah, but treasure can on, sometimes be worthless. So, this is the world's largest blockbuster. Okay, let's go! Alright, GameCube, do your thing. Oh no, it's just empty. Oh, this sucks. Where's all the games in the movies? Let's get inside and check it out. Welcome to the world's largest blockbuster where you can get great deals on movies and video games. Finally, something interesting. I'm gonna go get Tony on Pro Skater 3. Is this the Matrix? Is that Genie from Aladdin? What's he doing in the world's largest blockbuster? Alright, this is it everyone. Beat the Guardian and here's our final stage. Babylon Guardian. And we're playing as Sonic, because you know, he's the main character. Anyway, hello everybody, SuperMe84 here, and welcome to the finale of Sonic Riders on the Nintendo GameCube. In the last episode, we did Dark Desert and Sky Road with Jet and Wave. Now, this is the only boss fight in the entire game, and in this stage, it's not really a race, but you want to get ahead of the pack so we can dash into that pot that the genie is coming out of. When we dash into the pot and hit the genie, everything changes and it looks like we're in, inside a futuristic simulation. And when you cross the finish line, it will go into lap 2. If you don't dash into the pot of the genie, then you're not going to complete the lap. You will be stuck in lap 1 until you hit the genie. And you have to hit him 3 times in order to finish the boss fight. But you have to stay ahead of the pack in order to reach the pot. There is a grind rail that you want to take advantage of to refill your air because you're going to need to take advantage of your boost a lot in this stage. So in this stage, we're not really fighting an actual genie. We're pretty much fighting a, a genie imposter that the Babylonians created. When you defeat the genie, it doesn't matter if you don't come in first place. And you don't really have to come in first place in this stage at all. Because when the first time I beat this boss fight, I finished in second place and I still won. You can do this boss fight in the free race or time attack if you want to use a fly or power type character. There is another track that's located here called Digital Dimensions where you go through three different simulations instead of two. Anyway, there we go. We're done. And that is it for Sonic Riders. Struck by the treasure to notice me, eh? How the heck did you now get in 
All the doors were closed. <laughs> What's so funny? Hand over the treasure right now! Okay, catch! <laughs> the treasure of Babylon is finally mine! Huh? What is this thing? A piece of cloth? It's a note. What does it say? Let's see. Ah, this looks interesting. At long last, we've completed our ultimate invention. With this, our lives will be easier without the need to work so hard to keep ourselves flying. Stolen, the 13th leader of the Babylon Rogues. It's amazing. The carpet's rich texture is a sight to behold, and the way it feels is extraordinary. Something such as this could only have been created in Babylon. Undoubtedly, this carpet will be in high demand from all around the world, but, but what's this? No way. I went to the trouble of holding the World Grand Prix for, for this? I, I can't believe I just wasted my time for this piece of junk. Well, I guess you could say Dr. Eggman's IQ is negative 300. What are you talking about? This isn't just a piece of fabric. Right, take a look at the material. It's the same stuff we use for our extreme gear. You don't say. So the cube is the remote for the carpet. Oh, it's... Not sure, but maybe it's a prototype gear. A magic carpet? I thought that those only existed in fiction. That's quite funny, actually. I never imagined that we Babylonians could be descendants of real genies. Maybe it can show us the world. Heh <laughs> heh. Plug. So, you're leaving this place? Yeah! The back of the carpet has more words of wisdom. It says... This was invented to allow Babylonians to travel all over the world to gather treasure. Some things never change, huh? But enough of this friendly banter, Sonic. You better make sure you're ready when we meet face to face once again. You bet. Come on, Jet, it's time to split. Hey, I wanted to say that. <sighs> we should split too, right? Yes. And that's Sonic Riders, ladies and gentlemen. And this was the last Sonic game that Yuji Naka produced before he left Sega a month early after this game was released. So, what are my thoughts about it? I know there's a 50-50 people who like this game and people who don't like it at all. The story, I did like the story. It has some funny and charm cartoony moments that I get a laugh out of. Mainly from the Babylon story. The hero story, eh, not really. I mean, it feels like you got one side of the story being a little serious and the other side of the story being funny. But you know, as long as you're balancing those two good, then I'm okay with that. But you know, I would rather play a Sonic game that has a funny and charming story than playing a Sonic game that has a dark or sinister story. The voice acting? Everyone does a great job. Sort of. You have the Sonic 4 Kids voice actors. Jason Griffith as Sonic and Jet, Amy Palin as Tails, Dan Green as Knuckles and Storm, and Erica Schroeder as, or aka Bella Hudson, as Wave the Swallow. You know, I kind of felt like they should have 
gotten somebody else to play as Wave, because when I hear Bella Hudson play as Wave, it sounds like what would happen if Blaze had a twin sister, but she's kind of a jerk. But that's just my opinion. The game as a whole, I like this game. In fact, I think this is one of my top 10 favorite Sonic games to play. It's fun, and it has that arcade type style competitive racing that I am a fan of. So, if you're a fan of competitive racing games like I am, then you should pick this game up. If you're not a fan of racing games or Sonic in general, then you should just stay away from it because this game is probably not for you. But let me know what you guys think of Sonic Riders in the comments below. I know some of you are going to ask me this, will I be doing Sonic Riders Zero Gravity? Yes I will, but that won't happen until the fall. And I will be also doing the two Grand Prix in this game. Mission mode? Maybe. I don't know. But anyway, that is Sonic Riders everybody. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like or a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.